Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today is just going to be a short little video talking about something I discovered that's kind of awesome. So I was reading How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger and in his book he talks about a way to test your body's pH um, naturally. You don't have to buy pH strips for pools or anything. Sorry my cat's moving my camera. So what you do is you take purple cabbage and you blend it up with some water or you can boil it and use the water that you boiled um, for the process. And what you do is you put it in the toilet and then you go pee. Your morning pee is always the best because it is the strongest. And it will change color, hopefully. <laughs> or maybe not hopefully. So if it turns pink or it stays purple, that means your body is acidic, which is not good. If it turns a dark blue, then your body is alkaline, which is what you want to aim for. Our bodies are always striving to be alkaline. The food you eat does affect your body's acidity and alkalinity. alkalinity. <laughs> so it's important to make sure you're eating the right foods. And there's many things I've seen even on Pinterest that are showing you acidic foods versus alkaline foods. And um, that might help you a little bit. So I'm going to show you a little clip of when I did it. Sorry if you think that's gross, but it's just a bunch of blueness, so <laughs> it's okay. So when I did it, mine w turned a dark blue. It doesn't necessarily mean that acidic foods that you would normally think is are acidic are acidic. Um, like lemons. People are like, oh, lemons have acid in them. It burns when it goes in your cut or something, so they're acidic foods, right? But they're actually not because a lot of plant foods, pretty much all I think plant foods, are alkaline in nature. So they are going to help your body maintain its alkaline state. Um, whereas other foods such as meats and dairy products, they are more acidic for your body. And your body has to neutralize the acids in them. And to do that, your body pulls calcium from your bones. You don't want osteoporosis, so eat more plants. <laughs> anyway, I thought this little test was a great way just to see where you're at uh, to begin your journey to eating more alkaline foods. And that's all I kind of wanted to do is tell you about this little method because I was like, whoa, just purple cabbage does this? Like, I thought I'd have to buy pH strips or something, but really nice to know you can just do it at home. So I hope you guys try it out see what you are and let me know in the comments um i hope i see a bunch of blues <laughs> and i'll see you in another video bye